Hello, my name is Maria from MathMammoth.com. In this lesson, we're studying reciprocal numbers and the shortcut for dividing fractions, which is, it's written over here, to divide by any number, to divide by a fraction or whatever, you can multiply by that number's reciprocal. So, before we study this shortcut, we need to study reciprocal numbers first. Now, what are reciprocal numbers? Two numbers are reciprocal numbers if their product is one. If you multiply them and you get one. For example, two-fifths and five-halves are reciprocal numbers because if you multiply them, you get one. You get two times five, which is ten, and five times two, which is ten. Ten divided by ten equals one. Let's look at some more examples. The reciprocal of two-thirds is what a number? What would it be? It's some number, so that two-thirds times that number equals one. And what we can do is we can flip the fraction. I can write here three over two, because then in the multiplication I get six on top, six on bottom, six-sixths, which equals one. Okay? So three halves was the reciprocal of two-thirds. Then the reciprocal of seven. Think about this multiplication here. Seven times what equals one? You can probably see that seven times one-seventh, right? So over here there's a flipping two. If you think of this as seven over one, then this is one over seven. How about a mixed number? The reciprocal of one and one-fourth. Now over here it helps if you first Write this mixed number as a fraction. It is five-fourths, right? And then five-fourths times four-fifths would equal one, because you get 20 divided by 20. So we get four-fifths here. Again, flipping it works, but you have to first write it as a fraction. Now that we have studied reciprocal numbers, we can go back to the shortcut for fraction division. And I wrote here, to divide by any number, for example, to divide by a fraction, multiply by its reciprocal. This means that we will change every division problem here into a multiplication problem. And this is how it happens. I will write a 7 eighths. It won't change. The division changes into a multiplication. And then this number, I take its reciprocal. So I flip it. Like that. And now over here, we just multiply normally. 7 times 3 is 21, and this is 16. And then lastly, write it as a mixed number. It's 1 whole and 5 sixteenths. Does it make sense? You can think of the fitting. 2 thirds fits into 7 eighths. And over here, okay, somewhat over one time. Yes, that makes sense. 9 tenths divided by 4. Okay, I do the same. This first fraction does not change. This changes into a multiplication, and now I write the reciprocal of 4, which is 1 fourth. And then we multiply 9 times 1, and 10 times 4, which is then 9 over 40. 